Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. So today I'm just, well, we're kind of just going to take a gander around a used car lot. This is Brock Ford, and let's see what they got. Obviously there's going to be a lot of Fords here. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, let's see. This one is a 2016, I believe, but there's no price on it right at the moment. This is a 2013 Ford Edge. 28,990. Nice black leather interior. My Ford Sync. Wow. Pretty nice car, actually. Nice Pirelli tires. And those are 20 inch wheels. Holy shit, those are big. It is an SEL. SEL, obviously, and it has the panoramic sunroof, too, by the looks of it. Nice. I love this red color. So I would assume this has the 3.5 liter V6. Because that's what they usually had. Oh, sorry, that one could be a 2015 actually. Because here's a 2015. And they want 33 for it. 33,990. Which, hmm, I don't know, it depends on the package. It might not be too bad. I'll admit, I'm not a huge fan of those. Uh, lights around there. I love the headlights on this and the grill though. Such a nice looking grill. Nice Michelin tires. And this, oh this is a nice interior. Full black leather, heated and cooled steering wheel I believe this has too with sink and navigation. This looks just like the 2015, 2014 Fusion I had for a rental when the, when the Taurus had got hit. I can't really see back here, but it's still really nice. I'm going to assume this is an SEL as well. And yes, it is, with an EcoBoost. Um, which EcoBoost engine is it? Does it say? Uh, it doesn't say. I think this would be the 2 liter EcoBoost. I could be wrong. There's another 2013 for 22990. That one's a base model, which. Uh, is that a base model or what? That one there is a 2013 as well. Or 28. This one has cloth interior though. Has the in-dash nav still. Oh, this is an SEL too. It's just a lower trim SEL. Reverse camera and reverse sensors on this one. This one as well. Hmm. Let's move on to a couple other vehicles. Fusions. We have a. Uh, what year is this one? Doesn't say. There at least. It's a 2016. Holy wow. 26590. Which? What are the options? Oh, this one's got full black leather interior, and these windows are also tinted a little bit. Button start, navigation, every option really on this one. It's beautiful looking color. That's a gray titan gray um, metallic. Those wheels actually, I don't know. Didn't like them before, but now they're kind of growing on me to be honest. Dual exhaust. Pretty nice looking car. Very nice looking car indeed. Actually, sorry, those windows aren't tinted. This looks like they are. I guess they have brand new Goodyear Eagle tires on them. Reverse sensors and a reverse camera. Wow, nice package. Over here we have a Lincoln MKZ. This is a nice fully loaded car. 2012, 19990. They're like 990. Yeah. A couple just have a cover on this one. This is very similar to my Fusion. Let's see, full black leather, automatic transmission with manual shiftability. You have your man your navigation unit in this one too. Man, this is a nice car. It's a really nice car, actually, indeed. 
reverse camera as well, dual tip exhaust, and reverse sensors. And going around to this one, this is the new model MKZ. This one has the 2 liter EcoBoost, I believe this one has the 3 liter V6. Love these wheels on this one. The chrome works really well on this one actually. Black leather interior. Double fold open center console with sync, navigation and everything. Wow, this is a nice looking car. Man, really nice looking car. $24,990. And this is a 2013. Not really bad. Does it say how many kilometers are on it? It has 80... No, um... I don't know. Yeah, nice car either way. And we have a 2015 Focus over here. These are aluminum wheels. Cloth interior. Sink. No nav in this one, but it's actually still pretty nicely optioned out. Continental Pro Contact tires on it. There's an SE trim level. Along with this one, which is a base base model one. Because it has hubcaps and sealies. Now right next to it we have a Toyota Corolla CE. This looks like it's about a 2003-2004. Automatic transmission. Uh, it's pretty basic, but legendary reliability. 07. Lock heater plug coming out of the grill. Not bad shape at all. And here's the sedan focuses. Uh, let's pick the white one. <coughs> this looks to be another SE. Continental tires on it, and it's 2015 as well. This one has the dark gray interior, not the tan interior. It's nice to with a reverse camera. I think that's pretty standard on 2015s now to have a reverse camera. Huh, let's head over to the SUVs now. <coughs> This escape over here it looks like a recent trade-in. By the fact that there's no marking on it, it's got the V6 in it. Leather interior and of course heated seats I believe too. These are nice cars. I like these escapes. Four-wheel drive. As you can see there's a little rust right there. But wow, this thing's pretty clean. Now we have your newer model escape right here. This is a 2013 for 20,990. Full leather interior, heated seats, in dash navigation. I've driven one of these. My grandma has one. It's it's nice, but it's not really for me personally. This one has the chrome package as you can tell. There's a little bit of chrome on it. I'm liking those wheels too. 